wake up at 3.55 each morning so I can have Colin's IV started at 4. Since my last vlog, Colin had an MRI and unfortunately it still showed that he had infection in his bone. When his infectious disease doctor had got the results from the MRI, he immediately contacted us and admitted us into the hospital so Colin could be monitored while he was started on a new IV antibiotic. It worked really well for a few days. admitted back into the hospital and then started at the He hasn't shown any side effects to this one, so we're hoping for the best. This medication takes approximately two hours to drip, so that's why we have to get up and start it by 4 a.m. because of our school and work schedules. This is when Colin had his follow-up MRI to see if this new medication had any of the infection. If you're new to our channel, be sure to check out some of our previous videos to see exactly what happened with Colin. Ever since then, we have been administering IV medications at home. He is on an oral antibiotic, and he has to see his infectious disease doctor frequently. We also have an at-home nurse that comes weekly and changes his dressing on his pick line and has to do blood work because the side effects of the medication that he's on can be pretty severe. Fortunately, Colin has handled this medication really well. We have a new Tazo brand. He sleeps well. That's the most recent issue we had is we lost the Tazo overnight last week due to a potential black body. While I had started his IV at home, I noticed that it wasn't dripping. Then I unhooked it and tried to flush it, and unfortunately, it would not flush. When we had got to the emergency room, the nurses also had resistance when they tried to flush his pit line. He was closely monitored overnight and discharged the next day. Once I started his IV, I made some coffee. The sunrise was absolutely beautiful.
needs to be in every 12 hours, so we decided 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. is what works best for us. This has been such a long journey, especially for Colin, so we're extremely hopeful for the best MRI results. Be sure to check that out and give us a follow over there as well.